among the countless millions and millions of pilgrims from every corner of the globe and from all walks of life who have journeyed here to be with Mary, the Mother of God, and to be spiritually renewed in their task of faithfully living out the Gospel. Among these pilgrims is our own beloved Pope, John Paul II, who first came here as an 11-year-old boy with his father. Then later, as a priest, he rode his bicycle here from Krakow with a group of the youth. As the time went on, he visited, visited us as our bishop, then archbishop and cardinal. Now, whenever he is back in his homeland, he visits us as our pope. I remember many of these visits as a young man together with Father Eugene. We served mass for him and in the refectory for his meals. Late as a priest, we welcome him back on his pastoral visit. So far, Holy Father visited six times the shrine, last time in June 1991. But when Holy Father was here in 1983, when we celebrated sixth anniversary of the shrine, he added something special among those embecoros, gifts made, robes, vestments on the holy icon. He added his papal sash stained with blood. It was offered to Mary and Holy Father was wearing this, that sash when in 1981 there was an assassination attempt against him. The Holy Father said that his life was saved by a miraculous intervention of Mary, especially of Our Lady of Chestohova and of Fatima. And in gratitude, Holy Father gave the bullets to be used in the crown of Our Lady of Fatima, in the statue of Fatima. But the papal sash with the bullets holes in it, he left near the holy icon. The evidence how God is working through Mary, God's mother, Theotokos. Among the Catholic, we have all kinds of people, you know, various denominations always ask, Father, why is the holy, why? This place is so holy for us. Why so many people are coming? Why the, life, the faith is so alive? The answer is theologically. God's mother, Theotokos. The her picture became, the holy icon became miraculous thanks to the great devotion of our forefather ancestors. <coughs> Just this morning I was answering the letter from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Long letter when the gentleman requested many messages for the family, especially for his mom who passed away, he says, what a dear, wonderful devotion he had to Our Lady of Chestohova. This is the pattern of your devotion to the Holy Eucharist and to the Blessed Virgin Mary for us Polish descent under the title of Our Lady of Chestohova, which we are having here 618 years. Among great people who visited here, we have kings and nobility. From the kings we have Saint Casimir, son of the royal family who became a saint. Saint Queen Hedwig, who was main founder of the shrine, whose picture we saw in Basilica. Millions and millions of pilgrims, probably four or five million a year. And before the Second World War, we have signature of our great priest, Saint Maximilian Kolbe, who was saying to celebrate the mass every time, like we are now celebrating and then he was taken to Auschwitz and he was prepared ready with great devotion, dedication to Mary. He took place somebody else appointed to die by Nazis, 1941. And no relics, he was cremated guest chamber, but he's a great saint, he's helping us, many pilgrims, he saved my life three times in driving. So this is what we have there always with giving a tour, when we stop in front of his altar in Basilica, we say a short prayer for a safe trip home, safe traveling across Poland. Lord, we know your church throughout the entire world, making us grow in love together with John Paul our Pope, Stanislaw our Bishop, and all the bishops, clergy, religious, and the entire people. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest, in the hope of uh, rising again, bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy.
to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles, and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The rest is ended. Go in peace.